I'm not sure if this is going to become a build video yet, but um, just met up with Scanlines uh, from YouTube and uh, we did a bit of a trade um, and he's given me this AT case. So I basically want to build a 386 into it. Um, I, I might change it up with something else later, but at the moment I want to build a 386. So I don't know what condition this power supply is in. Uh, he's also given me these three other AT power supplies, which is awesome. So I need to test if any of them work. So I've got this um, 286 motherboard that is dead, unfortunately. It's a really nice board, but I haven't been able to make it work. I've done a little bit of work on it. It's got um, SIP memory. Um, I've done a little bit of bodging on it so far, but all the power seems okay. Um, it looks like maybe the whole lot's corroded, as you can see. I'm not sure, but I ain't getting anything. Well, I'm getting some weird sounds when I turn it on. It, doesn't, it does turn on, but it's, it doesn't post. So anyway, I was going to use that and this power supply to just put a bit of load on this um, UP, uh, uh, power supply and test the, test the rails. And if it is good, then I will whack the 386 motherboard in. So let's give it a shot. So I've just turned it on with just the CD-ROM drive and it is working. So I'll get out the uh, multimeter. And just see what the, um, what it's running at. So I'm 11 volts on the 12 volt rail, which is not very good, but that may just be because it's not under load. And I'm getting probably 5 volts on the 5 volt rail, so I'll switch that off and plug in the motherboard. So when connecting up a AT style power supply to a motherboard, you always want black to black. Uh, Otherwise, you will blow up the motherboard. I definitely blew up one, at least one 486 uh, EISA board, unfortunately, back when I was very young, playing around with it. Um, all right, so that's hooked up. Let's see if we get any sparks. Okay, nope, we don't, that's good. Let's see if I'm getting a different readout on the power supply. Cool, so that's gone up to 11.7 and still 5 volts in the bubble rail. Perfect. I think that that power supply is good enough for me to try the 386 out. Excellent. So this is the 386 board. Uh, I do need to remove the battery still, but it has been leaked, which is amazing. I almost think that it's, it's still got a little bit of a charge. I feel like maybe it was replaced at some point. Picked this up off eBay, not cheap, not too bad. Um, but a couple of things I like about it, it's got the 386DX40. I would have preferred a socketed one, but that's fine. Um, it had this Massacre processor on it, which is great. Like uh, four mega of RAM, and this particular motherboard has cache as well. So um, this should be a pretty, hopefully a pretty fast 386, it's quite a late, a very late model 386. Um, it's got a date code of 93 on the CMOS. So, yeah, um, I do think this case is a little new for this, but I think it will be a perfect start um, to, to test it out. Well, this uh, motherboard, oh, this case has a PC speaker, which is good. I've hooked up the motherboard. The standoffs in this case are really nice. I've just got one screw in there at the moment, but it's holding it pretty well. I couldn't find the power um, LED on this motherboard. I'm sure it's somewhere, unless it's not, so it doesn't have that, but uh, we should hopefully get some good sounding PC beep sounds. So, fingers crossed. That is a good sound. 
So we are getting some action, which I'm very happy about. So I need to hook up a video card. Actually, I know the card that I'm going to try in this first. Partly because I know where it is, because I'm still unboxing, but I really like this card. I think it's probably very slow, um, but it, it is super long. Um, this I got with that 286. Uh, it's a Western Digital VGA, early VGA. It's probably, I don't, I don't even know, it's 256 or 512K of cache, but it looks amazing. Um, and it works, and I was using it to test in various computers. So this is the video card I'm going to put in to start with. Uh, once the machine's up and running, I will switch to, I've got a ET4000, which is a very common card that should be very good. So because it's so long, I'll probably put it in the last slot. Now yeah, we'll see how we go. So that's the next step. Let's see how we go. Just notice this VGA bracket is a bit mangled on this card. Didn't notice that before. Um, I might just try and straighten that out a bit and I will be back. I'm ready for the first boot with VGA. Uh, so I've got this cheap HDMI uh, to USB dongle uh, which goes into this uh, OBS open source screen recorder software, which then goes into this uh, VGA to HDMI adapter. So that's how I get it working. One recording, but also this monitor doesn't have VGA, unfortunately. Uh, so I think we're all connected. I have to take the bracket off because it is mangled. I'll try and fix it up more later. Um, I've got a IO controller, um, which I will use, but I can't find my uh, IDE to SD adapter at the moment. So this is probably all I can do. I don't even have my dongle to convert the um, DIN style keyboard connected to PS2. Uh, that's at the office. Uh, so everything in the move is packed. Some of that stuff is still packed. I'm not sure where it is yet. So that's fun. Anyway, this should hopefully give us some life. Okay, not a terrible sound, but nothing on the capture card. I may need to plug it into a USB power adapter. So I'll have a bit of a fiddle and I'll come back. So hilariously, this video card is not working, even though I have tried it in so many other random motherboards and it worked great. Uh, it's um, given me two short beeps on the Amy BIOS. I've read somewhere it's about a 64K memory issue or something. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I'll need to do a bit more research. So I'm going to try this one here. This one's actually the Triton from that uh, last video where I had unboxed a bunch of video cards. Um, so I'm hoping this one works. Got it hooked up. Let's see if we go. All right, so I saw that that was a one meg card, so that's great. Not, look, this chip is a bit slow, but I don't think it's bad. We'll probably be totally fine for this 386, um, but this makes me very happy. So probably all I can do today without my uh, dongles, unfortunately, uh, but we are off with a booting machine, which is very good.